this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Since last time, I just reloaded my save file from before I did all that stuff with Romani Ranch there, since that wasn't particularly relevant there. And let's see, I want to get back to Clock Town to deposit all my money, because, well, I'm going to be finding quite a bit more money in the very near future. There we go. And now, let's get back to Zora Cape. I still have quite a few things that I want to do there before advancing the plot. Yeah, I know that's a real shock to the viewers. I wasn't exaggerating when I said, like, 90% of the game is side quests. But we still got a whole bunch more to do. Okay, so let's see. Coming up here. Let's see. I'm going to need some fire arrows. And the Mask of Truth, because there's another uh, Gossip Stone that I want to check out. Oh yeah, we got that little, I don't know what that thing is, like some kind of a funnel or something, I don't know. Remember that for later, viewers. But for now, let's uh, get over here, let's get back to where we had that little pot-breaking minigame, or, well, if you can call that a minigame, kind of, I guess. But, uh, yeah, just give the R button a feather touch as you, uh, what is it, go through the water and the skullfish start spawning there. And then, okay, once we're on land, there's the pot breaking stuff. And let's go all the way down here. Well, not all the way, but I want to go over here. And let's see. Okay, what do you got for me, boss? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we already knew that. But, uh, I suppose a little redundancy wouldn't hurt. Why not? Whoa! Man, d don't just come out of nowhere like that, pal. I get so nervous. Whoa! Yeah, we got a like-like there, so to deal with that guy, shoot two fire arrows at it. You want to wait a little bit between hits, otherwise you'll just hit iframes again. So, yeah, let him cool off a little bit after the first shot, and then you'll be fine. But let's see. Okay, I want to keep on going down over here. Okay, let's see. So over here, I want to get some bottles out, because we've got a lot of fish I want to get here. So let's see. I like using this spot for catching fish, because there's no risk of getting, like, uh, what is it? spring water or anything like that just kind of stand pat there a little bit and they'll come to you eventually you could try to like scare them to the shallow water but i don't find that to be very effective just uh be patient they'll come to you just like real fishing unfortunately we don't have a fishing rod so we'll just have to wait a little bit you can't go in the deep water there like oh i could have gotten that fish but yeah, you can't go in the deep water like with the Zora mask and stand on the flo sea floor with the bottle there. You could swing the bottle, but I don't think you can catch fish that way. At least when I've been trying to do it, that doesn't seem to work for some reason. So they're not going to like give you an easy way out or anything. But uh, yeah, just keep on swinging the bottles there. You don't have to worry about it. I guess you got like ocean water since we're well, touching the ocean from here I guess so it's like salt water or something but whatever works come on come to link could I get at least like two fish the guy's right in front of me I don't remember getting these fish to be this fickle around here maybe uh Maybe I should try scaring them. Yeah, they're not coming to me this time. Let's, uh, yeah, swim over here. Kind of get them to break up there and then try again. Haha! -ha, there we go. Maybe I was being a little too patient. As I so often think in my life. Come on. Yes! Okay, one more. If I can get one more, that is. If, uh, I don't get one pretty... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to be doing some other stuff in the area here, so if I didn't get one quickly like that, I could move on to other things. But, uh, no, we got it. 
Okay, so let's uh, get up there. What do we got going on here? Uh, well, there's some sort of waterfall. I think, like, what was it? A Zora or a, a Gossip Stone or someone was saying something about a waterfall. And, well, here it is. So let's get our Zora mask on and dive in. Now, at the bottom here, you do have a like like. So you want to watch out for that. Just uh, hold the R and B buttons if you actually get down to the bottom of the place. Because you do not want the like like to be able to munch on you. But otherwise, you defeat it with two shots from your barrier. Uh, okay. Okay. That's one way of dealing with it. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, surface if we can. There we go. Let's see, I want to go away from the waterfall, actually. And where is it? Okay, there we go. Whoop! Uh, no, no. Uh, I just want to break the pots, or... Okay, there's a little magic. Not that I really need it. Hold on. I want to rev up over here before moving, because there's some... Yeah. Uh, whatever those guys are. Their name escapes me at the moment. But, uh, okay. So, let's see. Over here, from this log, we can hook shot up to the trees, just like by the pirate's fortress. Now, you want to be careful here. You got a chest there. If you hook shot from here, though, you'll... Uh, what is it? You want to hook shot from the side of the chest there. Because if you go from the back, there's not enough room on the ledge for you to stand up at. And then you'll fall off immediately. What do we got over there? Oh, we got a... Well, we got something over there. Is there a way I can get over there? I don't think so. Not from here, anyway. Yeah, we gotta go to another platform to do that. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm, well, Tattle seems to think something's going on over there. And that's because there is! Not that there's really much of a point to the guy being there. I mean, I don't think I could reach him from here. Maybe a little better aiming? Nope, nope, I'm uh, too far. Okay, let's dive into the water. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can get from the left path to the right path. Watch out for the like-like behind you there. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that uh, scarecrow being there is. Let's take off the bunny hood so I don't accidentally walk off the edge or move around a little too quickly here. Whoa. Yeah, I might have fallen off there. I wasn't uh, paying attention there. But, yeah, we can get quite a few rupees while we're here. And then hook shot up here. And then I think we're almost at the end. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got to get a little closer. Just a little bit. There you go. And just like all good video games, we got caves behind or right next to a waterfall. Wow, that explains where the river is. What's making that sound? Is that like a beaver using its tail as a propeller or something? Well, it wouldn't be the strangest means of conveyance that I've seen. Okay, what you want to do is get in the path of this guy and then lock target on the guy and then he'll dive down to the bottom. That worked a lot better for me here than it did in practice. For some reason, I was just having such a hard time of getting a lock onto him because by the time he, you get close enough to him, then he just kind of changes direction a lot of times. What do you mean, again? Oh, I think he's talking about Mikau he, coming here. I, think, I thought someone said something about that before, but whatever. Oh, okay, well, good. That was easy. Oh, what rings? Okay, uh, sure, why not? Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to follow him that closely, but it's easy enough not to. And, uh, what is it? 
So yeah, you get your magic refilled before starting this game too. So just hold the A button while you're swimming here and just use the circle pad to go through the rings. It's a pretty easy mini game in either version of the game. Although one thing that can get a little tricky in the Nintendo 64 version is if you don't aim your swimming quite right because the analog stick can be a little fickle, you might bonk on like the edge of the ring itself. And because in the Nintendo 64 version, the A button functions as both your swimming and your dash function, you might just bonk into the wall or the ring over and over and over again until you can adjust it quite right, so that can be kind of annoying. You could use the R button to swim a little faster. You don't want to hold it though, you only want to do it like for a quick burst of speed. And in general, I prefer doing that only when I've already basically locked on to the middle of a ring I'm going to swim through. Because if I do that when I haven't, then I gotta make like a sharp turn or something to go through it. I might overshoot it and well, that would be bad. There is a little bit of rubber band physics going on here, I think. So if you make a mistake like that, then, you know, don't worry about it too much though. You'll be able to, yeah, as you can see, we've got plenty of time to get through the race there. I think the timing is identical er, between the two versions of the game, at least in real time. I don't know about the in-game timer. But whatever works. Uh, you got a bottle for me, bud? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's a Zelda game. Bottles are precious. But you just said you were going to give me one. Oh, okay, uh, with the floating, flotation device? Okay, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure how that'll work for you, but best of luck to you. So, all right, same thing as before, but the rings are in different spots. You got a lot more rings you gotta get through here. And let's see, you want to be careful with these rings that are like on the surface of the water, like that one I screwed up on before there, because you might end up kind of standing on the ring there. And that'll like take you out of the, you might slip and fall and get out of the ring there without going through it. So that can be a little problematic. But as long as you're totally underwater, you're fine. Okay, we got a sharp turn here. And then we're gonna have another, or yeah, we're gonna have another one right here. Hard right. Careful. Don't wanna dash there. Basically, I like using the dash function there. If, uh, what is it? If I, I'm already locked onto a ring like I was saying before, or if I don't see a ring at the moment and I know there's not gonna be another one coming up here. So hard right. Hard left. Oop. That's okay. We didn't quite bonk on the wall. I guess we just kind of glanced at it or something. And okay, get up here. Okay, no rings. You don't want to hold down the R button when, if you want to get more speed though. Because the only real speed benefit you get is that quick burst at the beginning there. You could like mash the R button if you wanted to do that. But otherwise, uh, what is it? I just use it every now and then. Oh, he said this is a mess, big brother. But uh, yeah, for beating both of them in the race, we got another bottle. Hooray! And well, that's not the end of this one because let's see, if you go over here, let me dolphin dive. Ah, oh, man, that wasn't good at all. Let me see if I can actually get this to happen. Okay, well, I kind of dived, but I didn't make it onto the platform there. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, so once you've beaten them twice, 
uh, talk to them again here. What else do you got? Money? What do you mean, race? We're not exactly racing. We just gotta keep up with you. But basically, yeah, we can do the races again. But this time, on a much tighter clock, I don't think that'll be a real problem. Especially in the first one. But I, whoa! Yeah, you see, I was, uh, yeah, almost lost my uh, direction wherever I was going. Oh yeah, you see those pots on the ground? Yeah, those contain magic jars. But you always get your magic refilled uh, when you start the race. So that's really not an issue. At least, not to me. Just, uh, yeah, dash every now and then. Whoa. <laughs> every now and then. Doing it a little too much there. Okay, hard left. Then we got a hard right coming up. There we go. Yeah, fortunately in this version, they separated the swim and dash function there from being both on the A button. So I like how they separated it there, because that helps give you a lot more control. And, okay, hard right. Maybe a little too hard on that one myself. And... Don't worry if you ever lose sight of the guy in front of you, like you miss a ring or something. Uh, it doesn't especially matter. It's not actually a race, despite them calling it that. Maybe they just like to pump themselves up like that or something, or make it out more than it actually is. Whoa! Camera kind of got a little fickle there, but yeah, made it with plenty of time to spare. Ha-ha! Ha-ha. Ha-ha! Yeah, we'll race again. Now this one can actually be a little tough to do there to do it all in time. So I'll see what I can do with uh, the dash function. I mean, it's not really dashing. I don't know what you'd call it. Pushing off there to get a little more speed. You want to be careful, though. You don't want to do that when you're close to the surface of the water because then you might dolphin dive and then veer off course. So just, uh, yeah, get in a quick dash every now and then just to keep everything running smoothly. Fortunately, this part, there's, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of hard turns. Okay, we got one coming up, though. Okay, get, whoa. Yeah, almost messed up that one. Okay, we got a hard right. There. Okay, we're good. No rings, so we might as well do a little dashing there. Careful. Get up to the surface. Whoa. Okay. Whew. Barely made that one. I used the dash at the wrong time. But, uh, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, hard right. And then a hard left. Whoa. I didn't think I actually went through the ring, but, well, whatever works. So far, so good. Oh, only five rings left. Wow. I guess that, uh, dashing really helps there, huh? But, uh, yeah, okay. Let's get up here. Dash through that one. Then, okay, we're good. We're good. Whoa, get down. Okay, we're good. Wow, that was enormously easier than I remember that one being. That second one can be a little fickle there. Ha ha. But all right, yeah, for uh, beating them again, another piece of heart. Hooray! And I think that's all for this, uh... Bomber's Notebook entry. I almost said bestiary entry, but, uh... Well, I guess they are beasts of a sort, I suppose. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business over here. Let's see, I want to get back to the Marine Research Laboratory. Because I got some of those fish there. And, well, I want to feed the... Uh, the scientist's fish, or whatever that guy's name is there. I don't know. But what do we get for feeding his fish? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.